Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laleka. I am going on my next trip to South Africa. I still have to live during the week and then I will head away, which I'm very excited about in future videos. There will be my flight reviews. I am flying with Emirates, so that'll be great. And I'm very excited because I haven't been to South Africa in years because they made New Zealanders have a visa. I'm so excited, I cannot wait to see my friends. I have a small layover in Dubai. It is an overnight flight into Joburg, so I will be changing clothes. If you haven't seen my review video of this carry-on, then please check that out. I'll link that in the description box below. My Louis Vuitton here, which is my travel bag. Appreciate us as well. You're supposed to pack your valuables in your carry-on. And then I have my bathroom bag that just always just stays packed. Because when you're going through security, then I'll have to get out my laptop. And sometimes you need to get out your bathroom bag, so it's just best to have it handy and grabbable. I also have my e-reader, which I always take with the best of intentions. I use Barocca. This is my silk pillowcase, which obviously in the first and this is where also I had to do a reshuffle when I get to Dubai anyway aside from changing clothes also to reorganize my bag so I won't take this out on the connecting flight between Kuwait and Dubai but I will have it in my this is my carry-on handbag which I use which is just the fossil Sydney satchel this will go inside my carry-on handbag because this is at my feet. Here is my electronics little bag. Now I definitely pack things into bags because I find it so much easier for organization purposes. Phone charger will go in here as I'm going to the airport. My underwear pouch which is absolutely the handiest thing. So what am I wearing? Then what am I washing? I cashmere socks which I just on board and again I won't use them in the first leg of my trip but I definitely will have to get them out of here and put them into there for the longer trip. Testing out this neck pillow again I won't use it for the first leg but I'll definitely take it out for the second leg and I'll just flip it onto my handbag. I'm sure it will be over the 7 kgs because my carrying on often is. This plus the tights will be going in here to change into in Dubai. Let me charge my headphones. I've got a review of these because I love them. They are just the best. So I'll link that in the description box below. There are a few things that I do definitely want to buy in South Africa. Coming with outside currency to South Africa is absolutely the best because stuff is really cheap. And I've done this before and I buy really boring stuff sometimes. I have laid out here my jeans. So this will be for the first flight. I have my jeans, my standard top that I wear on all my flights, and I have a pair of socks. So clearly I need to do some washing, but already starting to lay it out so that life's a little bit easier. This bag is pretty much done. Obviously there's still a lot of last minute things that need to be thrown in that I'm still going to use, like my hairbrush. Also, if you have been following me, you'll know that I had pneumonia earlier and this is my first this is my first holiday since then because my last break <laughs> was ooh. now there's another tip that I have because I'm winding down then I'm trying to empty my fridge before I go so I'm also trying to strategically order things that are a last me more than one meal any money that I could save right today then that's more spending money in South Africa and it goes a lot further. So also why I chose to buy a cheap meal is because I feel like it's always nice to come home to a cleanish place where, yeah, you can just sort of go, oh, should that's how you feel and you don't have to do anything. So I've made a little shopping list of things that I want in South Africa because they are cheaper there than in than here. I've started using this because Anne bought me this in Australia while I was home. And this is the Aldi brand and I don't know why she bought this one. It's got a much bigger opening so I'm actually using it much faster but it also doesn't last as long. I mean I bought it because she'd bought it for me. I had asked for it because she happened to go to Australia while I was at home. I'm not enjoying this. I can't wait till it's done. Note to self, 
Do not buy the Aldi brand one. It's not as good. <laughs> Laundry's going. If you haven't seen my apartment tour, please check it out. I'll put the link in the description box. Alright, it's the day of flying. I've been to work. So I'm just emptying out the dryer of my sheets. And I'm, I'm about to make my bed. Yeah, there's sort of a lot of last minute items that need to go in somewhere, including the stuff that's on the floor. I put it on the floor because that means I have to trip over it and so I will put it away. Probably actually going to have another shower later tonight. So my driver's picking me up at 8 from my apartment. If you don't know what I wear on my flights, the link is in the description box below. I have put a video together of my travel outfits and they're pretty much exactly the same. I'm tossing up right at this moment about my footwear because I did buy a new pair of sketches yesterday and as for those of you that know sketches are very comfortable but because of their new shoes maybe it's the dumbest idea I've ever had and because they're new as well they're not as easy to slip in and out. My camera is ready to go. We're going to see you Chris and Crystal. All right, it's about 10 minutes until my driver comes. These are... Ugh. Scales, which are going to go in there. Whoops. It's 7.5 and I still have to put in my laptop, which is actually really heavy. Oh, 16. Hell, that's great for me. Now, with Emirates, of course, you can carry 30, 32 kgs is the biggest. <laughs> Shove it in. Ugh. And then it will up in this case. So there we are, ready to go. Got my passport, it just lives in this pocket of my handbag. I usually walk around with my handbag wide open at airports because uh, I just do. Cell phone, it's got my credit card in it. His message saying that he's here. I'm like, yep, okay, I'm coming. I just have no hands in which to tell him. So it's easy enough with two the same. And I am ready to go. I've faded out a lot of my keys. I've left them here on my handbag for when I get back. I literally am taking one key. Right, we'll see you in Kauai Airport once I've checked in. Whoop whoop! Hardy! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as I post new videos every week, giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences.